My name is Simon, and I'm a systems engineer at Ralspace. From an early age, I've had an interest in science and technology, with a particular interest in electronics. I've always had a, an aptitude for STEM subjects at school, so that led me to study a degree in electronic engineering at university. And from that, then I did a higher research degree specialising in RF and microwave electronics. After that, I simply applied for a job within the industry and I've been working in the industry ever since. I am a member of the Millimeter Wave Technology Group, which is part of the Earth Observation and Atmospheric Science Division within RAL Space. At present, I'm working on a large space mission called NetOp Second Generation. Um, this is a European mission to develop the next generation of satellites that will provide data for weather forecasting. Now, the mission is due to come online in 2025 and will provide that data for at least 25 years. RAL Space are contracted to provide high frequency receivers for three instruments on board the satellites. We will deliver 24 flight receivers to our customers. And as the lead engineer on the program for RAL Space, it's my job to make sure that all the receivers um, are designed, built and tested to ultimately comply with our customers' requirements. I think we're all aware that the data and services provided by satellites have a huge impact on our lives. Data from observing the Earth is particularly important now, more so than ever, due to the effects of climate change. For example, we have more frequent extreme weather events, which can be mitigated through now casting, which is a weather forecasting on a very short time scale. And satellite imagery, navigation and communications play a critical role in disaster relief management. So I would say my role is important because I am contributing to the development of these instruments, which will provide this important data. The best part about my job is that every day I get to use my engineering skills to design and build instrumentation to support a scientific need. Along that process, there are a lot of engineering problems to resolve. That's actually a lot of fun. And when we resolve those problems and we have a working system at the end, that's usually rewarding. I value most the variety of the work and the bespoke nature of the work that Ralspace undertakes, given its unique combination of expertise and world-class facilities. I've had the opportunity to design and build instrumentation that's been deployed on ground, on aircraft and in space. And I've had the opportunity to travel to exciting places around the world to deploy those instruments at ground-based observatories and on aircraft campaigns. I would advise anyone still in education to look at the apprenticeship and graduate programmes available at RAL Space and other large space organisations. These are a great way to get a job in the industry and then to embark on a training programme which is tailored to the industry. Secondly, I would advise those interested in working at RAL Space to sign up to the STFC talent pool. This will ensure that your CV and covering letter are available to those who are recruiting within RAL Space. This is an excellent way to get noticed and to show your initiative. What I would say to my younger self or younger people in general is that you have plenty of time to get to where you want to be. This becomes ever more clear as you get older. So if you miss out on a job opportunity or you fail an exam or you encounter some other setback, it's not the end of the world. Keep focused on your goals and you'll succeed. I would also say to those in education that they should do everything possible to maximise the benefits of it. That means getting the best careers advice as early as possible so that you can make the best informed decisions regarding your career.